Um, should I erase all trace of my ex from my life? Yes. Most definitely. Don't for keep now. your ex pictures if you feel like the break the, the breakup is, is weighing you down. You are trying to gain yourself back. No. Anything Everything that links to him, cut yeah. it off. Yeah. Or avoid it. Yes. Yes. The best way is to avoid it. Yes. Maybe his pictures on your in your room on your phone, yeah. yeah, your text messages, yeah. your fan videos, yeah, yeah. don't, 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 don't yes. go back. Even if you don't want to delete them, don't watch them again, yeah. yeah. If not, you always feel, feel hurt. Keep them off your sight. Yeah, always, yes. always, yes. always, yes. always. Just delete, in fact, flash your phone. <laughs> yeah, flash your phone, take his contact off your phone, like just avoid him. Because if you don't, you won't be able to move on. You wouldn't. You find it very hard to heal within you. And that isn't what we want. We want, we, 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 we want to move on after this heartbreak. So we are trying our possible best not to hurt ourselves or remind ourselves of it. Hello guys, good day. Today I have a wonderful topic, a mind-blowing, uh, emotional, psychological <laughs> question, um, topic today. And I have some few steps I feel we can tackle in order to help ourselves out of it. And this topic are or is some simple questions to ask yourself after a breakup. One, what activities can I do to heal and move on? You are so much in, in love with this guy that you are so much in love with this lady that she break up your heart, she ends things with you and you can't move on. You are weak. You feel like the whole world is crashing down on you. Just be active try to do something try to be around friends you understand yeah try to go have fun you see when you're having fun you always forget your pains and everything try to go out have fun be with friends play music all these things it it helps you heal it helps you heal seriously it helps you heal if you have especially if you have good friends like me if you have good friends uh, you talk about yourself, you talk about trips, you, you can't even go on a trip, you get it. Go somewhere far from the, where the person is. It helps you heal, it helps you move on. My second point, I also suggest that um, um, you do away with your biggest fears and worry. Richard, what are your biggest fears and worry? So you do away, to, you do away with your biggest fear. If you know that um, he likes going to this restaurant and... You too also like their food. Don't find yourself there. Because when you see him, then you spark things. Just do away with what your biggest fears and worries. Do away with them. Don't even let him trigger you or let her trigger you on it. Now, the third point, I'll say, how can I stay positive and hopeful during this difficult time? Yes, break breaking up is a difficult thing. I came across something on social media that when someone breaks your heart, there's a nerve in your heart that cuts out. Sat, I don't know how true it is, but you have to help me. When, when you have a breaking heart, when someone breaks your heart, there's always some nerves in your heart that breaks. Yes. It's true. And this nerve, do you know that what you used to do that makes you happy, yeah. you no longer fancy them again. Oh, okay. Yes. I see. Yes. If so you it's enjoy true. Doing something, you can't do, do it anymore. again. Ah. Yes. So you guys, you see? Yes. You see? So it's true. When you, you get a breaking heart, that is what happens. Yes. You can't enjoy life the way you used to. You can't have fun. Things you like doing, you can't do them anymore. It, it will take time for you. So in order to do that, just stay positive. And what? Do different things. Yes. Things that will take your mind off it. Like, 
maybe you don't know how to ride a bike, you can use that time to learn how to ride a bike, drive, something. Just Meet do people. something. Yeah. Yes. Meet people, yes. go for live bands yeah. and those things. It's to help cool your head. Yeah. It's, so when you do different things, so it, it helps you forget about it or move on easily. Thirdly, or should I say my fourth point, I would say the kind of support you need from friends and family. It's very key. Yes, it's very important. Don't isolate yes, be with them, share your problems with them. They will help you out, especially your friends. Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes we are always more keen with our friends than family. Yes. You can't just go tell your mom, is it? Talking to your mom about this thing is kind of weird, though. Even though she advise you, but the way your friend will, will say it to you. Sometimes we feel like our parents don't know how breaking hearts is because their generation is different from ours. But when you open up with your friend, yes, the person can talk you out. The person can, I mean, it may be true that person, you can meet another guy who will never do that to you. You get it? You just heal. <laughs> you, you, yeah. It's true. Oh, yes. Yeah, when you are with friends, friends are like everything, like me. My, my friends are... Family, they you. yes, yes, they know, yes. They, they know your pain, they can feel your they pain, they know how you feel, yes. So they find a way to make, make you, you yes, you don't true. even think of it, no. you don't have you, you don't even your mind doesn't go there, yes. It's always peaceful things and positiveness, yes. They, they show you. My next point, I would say, um, should I erase all trace of my ex from my life, yes. Most definitely Don't for keep now. your ex pictures if you feel like the break the, the breakup is, is weighing you down. You are trying to gain yourself back. No. Anything Everything that links to him, cut yeah. it off. Yeah. Or avoid it. Yes. Yes. The best way is to avoid it. Yes. Maybe his pictures on your in your room, on your phone. Yeah, your text messages, yeah. your fan videos. Yeah, yeah. don't, 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 don't yes. go back. Even if you don't want to delete them, don't watch them again. Yes. Yeah, if not, you always feel, feel hurt. Keep them off your sight. Yeah, always, yes. always, yes. always, yes. always. Just delete, in fact, flash your phone. <laughs> yeah, flash your phone, take his contact off your phone. Like, just avoid him. Because if you don't, you won't be able to move on. You wouldn't. You find it very hard to heal within you. And that isn't what we want. We want, we, 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 we want to move on after this heartbreak. So we are trying our possible best not to hurt ourselves or remind ourselves of it. And my last point, I would say, what are my goals for moving on after the breakup? So your goals for moving on after the breakup one, you are moving on because um, this breakup was not for you. Yeah, this breakup was not for you. It was toxic or it was worrisome a lot. You get it. So just know your goals. Your goals. Just move on. Like if you were working, go to work. Ibab, if you were working, go to work. Always don't avoid things that end you your income or things you were even doing whilst you were in the relationship your work especially your work because i know people when they break up mm, they'll take days off they'll lie me yari eddie it's been days you've not come i'm just telling the truth it's been days you didn't come but it's normal I understand you i hope you are fine now <laughs> yeah eddie is fine now um because he just suffered from some broken heart <laughs> That was just by the way, guys. Thank you so much for listening, giving me a listening ear. I'm going through the points for you to jot them down or meditate on them. My first point, I say, what activities, what, what activities can you do or can I do to heal and move on? What are my biggest fears and worries? How can I stay positive and hopefully? during these difficult times and my next point i said should i erase all traces of my ex, ex 
my ex for my life yes you have to and the last point i said what are what what are my goals for moving on i want to make my ex know that even without him i made it without him I I I achieved so my you. goals. I'm yes, so I will. Hey, okay. Sat, please calm down. Right? <laughs> Sat is taking it personal. Please, the girl who broke my guy's heart, don't do that. We beg, we are begging. Yes, we beg. We beg. Next, Next time, don't do that. <laughs> you see, so just hit your goals. Go for it. Like shock him, surprise him. If it's hair, surprise hair. You you bab. Yeah, I know guys, guys and their ego. When they are with you and you break up with them, they go in for someone more better than you yourself. You sit there and you be shy. I like that about guys. Keep it up. <laughs> okay, guys, we've come to the end of this show. And I'll entreat each and every one of you to like, subscribe, and comment. We love you. Bye.